I'm recording this video on April 17th, just a couple of days since I got back from the Joomla Day 2024 event in Nashville, Tennessee. And have I got some great news for you if you manage more than one Joomla website. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, I want to talk about a really awesome open source project that works really well with Joomla. And it's called Panopticon. It's from Akiva and it is a free dashboard system for all of your Joomla websites. Yep, there's a couple of paid alternatives out there. I've been paying quite a bit of money now for a number of years. And so I was pretty excited to try out this free dashboard that does automatic updates, lets me know if a backup is out of date, one-click backups, and a whole lot more, all for free. Let's take a look. So the software is called Panopticon. It is over here at akiba.com slash products slash Panopticon. And it is, as it says, self-hosted site monitoring. So of course, there's some things you need to know here. First, you are hosting this yourself. So if you have a dedicated server or VPS somewhere, you can absolutely do this. Installation is a breeze and the documentation is excellent. I've got it on my dedicated server as a subdomain on my main website. Top features, it's free. Did I mention that? It does Joomla updates right from the dashboard, scheduled backups, lightweight, and I can attest to that, flexible, self-hosted, which means again, the only cost you've got is one that you're already paying for in that you've probably got a hosting service somewhere. It will do extension updates for you. And one of the really nice things is you can tell it which extensions to update automatically and which extensions to just let you know that there's an update for. We all know in Joomla, as with most content management systems, automatic updates are great right up until one of them breaks your site. I have a few trusted sources where I will absolutely allow for automatic updates, like regular labs, Akiba, and a few more. But for the most part, I need to manage those and make sure it's something's not going to break. Because it's from Akiba, guess what? Well, it integrates with Akiba Backup, either the free version or the pro, as well as admin tools. So of course you can run your PHP scanner right from your dashboard as well. So yeah, it's free, it's open source, it's obviously tightly integrated with Akiba products. But quite frankly, most of us who run Joomla sites of any size have Akiba backup and admin tools already, and probably the pro versions of both if you are serious about your Joomla website. So there you go, you are probably already set. And you can have user groups, you can even give users access to their dashboard if you want to set that up that way. And again, there's all the features listed here on the page. Downloading is simple. You don't even have to register. You just click the download button and it takes you over to the GitHub page for Panopticon, where all of the system requirements and things like that are listed. PHP 8.1, 8.2, or 8.3 are recommended. And yes, it does work with Joomla 3, 4, and 5. Really awesome. Nick over at Akiba did a quick demo of this at Joomla Day 2024 in Nashville just last weekend. Let me show you what it looks like. Once you've got it installed uh, and you've set up a couple of sites, well, this is the dashboard you get. Let me show you how easy it is to add a new one. I'm going to click Manage Sites. I'm going to click New. And all I have to do is download the connector, whether that's it's a Joomla 4 site or a Joomla 3.9 and a 3.10 site. Of course, I've already done that. So here I am at a client site and I've just installed the Joomla 4 version of the plugin. Of course, make sure you're installing the right one. I'm going to go to components and Akiba Panopticon connector. Sometimes it tells you here that you haven't got your profile up to date. All you've got to do is click on the link that's presented and then save. No big deal. And then it presents you with the endpoint and the API token both of which you now plug in to Panopticon. If your administrator directory is password protected, which is something admin tools does, then you'll need to enter that information, et cetera, et cetera. 
I'm going to click Save and Close. I get a message that the definition has been saved. And there it is right there in the list. Now, of course, I can click on it, look at properties, site ownership, groups, and more. Other features like uptime monitoring. Now, it is very basic. However, again, it's free and I'm not paying, you know, all that money per month now for an uptime robot. Notes, Joomla update. I can tell it to do a Joomla update immediately when it's found or on a particular time of the day. Or I can say, don't do anything, send email, install patch, minor, or any version as I need. And then I can define my settings for every single extension on my site. For instance, Akiba Backup, well, I'm going to say, go ahead and install any version. There's one that I trust. You can go through all of your extensions and set up your configuration. There are site overviews, extension updates, core updates, and site reports. If I go to the site overview page and come down to the site that I just added, you'll see that, well, we're up to date with Joomla. We have 13 extensions and I'm missing the download key for one. It's on PHP 8.1.27. And so far, there's no backup taken. Now, I know for a fact there are backups here. It only lists the ones since you've installed Panopticon. If I go in and click on it, I can see all of the settings for this particular site. And it shows me everything I need to know, even about my server information and all of the different updates that I might have. This is absolutely worth checking out if you manage more than one Joomla site. The paid services that do this, they're excellent. And yes, they go further than Panopticon does. They have dashboards. They have multiple ways of managing all of these things, and they're excellent. I'm not telling you to go ahead and cancel your subscription, but I am suggesting you take a look at this and see if it meets your need. Well, then it might be one less subscription you've got to pay for. By the way, the Joomla Day 2024 in Nashville was so much fun. The videos will be available at jdayusa.com shortly, and they will be worth a look if you use Joomla at all. It was a great blended event. And I have to give a shout out to Laura Gordon. She's the brain behind this, and she's also the MC for both days, managing incredibly well both the virtual world, as she called it, and the people in the room. And it worked. It was really, really good. I'd encourage you to check it out for next year in 2025. They didn't announce where it will be, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training.